So welcome back to Electric Vehicles channel my dear friends I am Krishna Chetan Mandela This is our first electric car review in Electric Vehicles channel So in the coming videos we will surprise you with many more electric vehicle reviews So please subscribe to Electric Vehicle channels for interesting videos and updates on electric vehicles Let's roll our intro So he is Mr Uday using MG ZA CV from the last one year. So Mr Uday, please introduce to our audience and what's your profession and why you have chosen MG ZA CV. Yeah, hi. This is Uday. I'm into construction business. My name is uh, Chandra Immade. Uh, me and Uday we've been using ZA CV for more than a year now. The decision right about buying a EV, we did lot of research online and we are very interested in uh, the vehicle let EV because it's doesn't run on fossil fuel which spoils environment. So we have seen lot of videos and did lot of research on YouTube and my friend is an avid follower of all EV vehicles that are coming into India and then we really like the specifications of MG ZS CV and uh, I think my if I'm not wrong my friend Uday he is one of the first guys to buy the MG EV vehicle I think for first in among 10 first 10 buyers and the main reason is the car is eco friendly and environment friendly it doesn't give any pollution and also this is very value to money and it is a suv the main reason why i want to uh, go with ev is i uh, want to be environmental friendly and uh, cost saving also so mr uday mg zs cv the company claimed that 340 kilometers range in this eco mode so have you ever try this 340 km range in this electric car yeah most of the time the main thing what i do is how much kilometer i'm getting that was my anxiety from day one so till now i got around more than the company claim only i got the mileage it was around 345 to 350 so once me and uday went on a long drive to bangalore to just touch the range and then we anticipated 340 but we switched off the ac we drove the car in like in very reasonable manner we went on 50 km per hour and we got a range of 420 and then we stopped and put on charging and the leftover mileage was about 40 km was the leftover mileage when we stopped the car for charging so at a stretch we drove 420 km and then still we have leftover of 45 km so anybody who is planning to buy an electric car or an electric vehicle they have some common doubts like uh, whether this electric vehicle works on water conditions or rainy season have you ever tried this electric car in rainy season or in water conditions yeah i have faced this issue uh, recently due to the hyderabad rains uh, i drove the car uh, in it it was almost literally i drove uh, 300 meters the height of the water was more than 1 and of it and i have seen lot of cars struck in the same water i have seen the cars like bmw and some other premium cars were uh, struck in the water so i feel this is more comfortable as compared to other premium cars you people might have apprehensions about buying and driving the ev in rainy conditions because this is battery based so you need not to have any apprehensions and you can buy it close just close your eyes and buy an ev and drive in rainy conditions so what is the top speed you touch on this mg zs cv uh, it was around 125 to 130 kilometers so uh, mg zs cv one more claim that with a fast charger 80% can be filled up in 50 minutes Have you tried that uh, fast charger? Yeah, I used this uh, DC fast charger for three times, and uh, what the company claimed, I got the same, and it was zero to eighty percent in fifty uh, minutes. Eighty to hundred percent, it takes around twenty-five minutes. If the total time you want to calculate, zero to hundred will be one hour fifteen minutes, and because for the uh, good uh, battery running life. what the companies will do is 0 to 80% will be uh, the power what they give is around uh, 60 kilowatt after 80% uh, the power will be coming around uh, 15 kilowatt so what about slow charger i, I mean uh, it is from the fast charger you can charge this electric car in 50 minutes but uh, they they are providing a slow charger as well so what will be the slow charging time the slow charger what the company has given to me the it is wall charger wall charger we need around uh, 7.5 kilowatt if you charge from 0 to 100 the requirement time it will take uh, 7 and 1/2 hours so what are the different kinds of uh, charging modes for this mg zs cv yeah there are three type of chargers uh, company has provided one is dc fast charger 
and one is uh, uh, wall wall charger and uh, the third one is slow charging for dc fast charger uh, the company has given me uh, 0 to 80 in 50 minutes and i have tried it uh, what the company claimed i got the charger time was the same and uh, from 80 to 100 it is uh, it takes around 25 minutes uh, so 0 to 100 the time will be uh, 1 hour 15 minutes the next one is wall charger wall charger uh, 0 to 100 will be around 7 and a half hours the other one is the slow charger slow charger it takes around 16 hours to 17 and a half hours from 0 to 100 so one more common doubt from the audience is like uh, uh, the power bill will be more for an electric car so ha what is the power bill for a monthly on an average what is the power bill you got so if you use the mgv and mg ev and charge it in domestic usage it will be around 77 paisa per kilometer so that is for the full charge and the range is 340 kilometers and you need to pay 250 rupees if you charge it in commercial usage it will take about 1 rupee 30 paisa per kilometer for the full range is 340 kilometers it will cost about 450 rupees it's peanuts compared to what we pay for fossil fuels like diesel and petrol so what are the features that you like in this mg zs the main features that we like me and Dudai, we have voice enabled commands if you want to open the sunroof we can instruct mg to open it for us and the same time if you want to switch on the ac and switch off the ac the mg does for us and also if you want to open the windows either the driver side or the passenger side the mg can get it done for us and the benefit of this feature is instead of putting your hands on the button you can just your voice commands to activate the services so what is the boot space of this mg zs cv the boot space in mg is about 470 liters and that uh, space is enough for short drives and the, within the city range and also if you want to go to long drives this space is more than enough it can fit most of your luggage so have you observed any uh, drive change in this uh, electric car when compared with your previous uh, diesel car yeah the drive change what i feel is uh, this is completely different as compared to the diesel or petrol car it is more smooth more comfort and more pickup initial torque is also compared to the diesel or petrol this is much higher as compared to the fossil fuel cars one major difference is even if a guy is standing beside the car he doesn't even know if we start and uh, switch off the car so they don't even feel any sound so have you faced any problems in this mg zs cv so far no i have not faced anything uh, till now but the only recommendations that we can give is it will be better for us only if they give us auto dimming mirror and uh, ac vents in the back seat and the third one is cup holder in the back seat. Only three things that we feel that are missing in the MG ZSCV. If you see the battery pack of MG ZSCV, it is 44.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion. So what is the cost of this battery if you want a spare battery of this? According to inter international standards at the moment, if you see the prices in US, the amount per kilowatt battery is about $100. So that if you calculate for the MG ZSCV battery, 44.5 multiplied by $100, it comes to, comes to around $4,500 that is around 3 lakhs Indian rupees even if you add up the import taxes and the custom duty it might go around 6 lakhs you know, Indian rupees so in future if you if we ever wanted to replace the battery we may need to spend around 6 lakhs so finally what is the on-road price of this MG CV and uh, how much warranty the company is providing on this MG CV? on-road price costed me around 26.3 lakh uh, that includes three years of insurance. Uh, recently, Telangana government has encouraged uh, to encourage EV buyers. They have given some incentives. So now, uh, if anybody wants to buy the car, uh, the price will be much cheaper as compared to me. It will be around one and a half lakh cheaper as compared to my price. Regarding warranty, the company has given me seven years of uh, battery warranty and three years of vehicle warranty so how much uh, kilometers you have covered so far in the mg zs cv i drove around 14100 kilometers till now so after your one year experience on mg zs cv will you suggest this electric car to any ev buyers i would recommend uh, mg zs ev uh, to everyone it is eco friendly and cost effective so mr Uday, why specifically you have chosen MG ZS CV? There are other electric car options like uh, Hyundai Kona EV is there and uh, Tata Nexon EV is there. And why you have chosen MG ZS CV? My second question to you is if you want to go for a second electric car in your house, what will be the car? Yeah, why I opted for MG is that the main thing what I liked was the comfort and the feel and uh, it is a SUV vehicle. 
so for that reason i went with mg because of the range also if i want to buy a second car uh, definitely i'll go with tata nexon ev and uh, because the build quality and the features what are what they are providing also i like from them and uh, anyway it's 100 percent made in india so that's the complete ownership review from mr uday after using this mg zs electric car for more than a year so on his experience he said that he is getting more than the complete claim range so the company claimed that 340 kilometer range but he got almost 420 kilometer range driving in the eco mode so that is something exceptional in this electric car and also whatever the riding experience it is completely different from a diesel car and mostly he liked this electric car so for more interesting updates on electric vehicles and reviews please do subscribe to our electric vehicle channel and if you want to share your ownership review to us please fill your details in the form we will provide the form link in the description and please do fill all the details and we will come to you for a ownership review as well go, go green, green go electric, electric.